Jakob Joris, the drummer. He wasn't a captain or a wealthy man, and yet on the night watch, he's one of the first faces you notice. But today, he looks flat and pale. What happened to him? And why did Rembrandt put him there in the first place? The drummer has a pretty important role within the whole composition. It's thanks to him that we can almost hear the night watch. He starts drumming right at the moment that the captain is giving the signal to the civic guard to march out. So it's more or less thanks to him uh, that we see the drama in the picture. The drummer looks a bit flat at the moment because the old varnish is being carefully removed. The varnish that is now on the night watch has aged and has become yellow. Because it obscures the colors and details of the painting, it has to be removed. Varnish is a thin, transparent coating applied over the paint. It protects the surface from dust, dirt and moisture and makes the colors appear richer and more vibrant. But how do you remove varnish without harming the painting? For the varnish removal of the night watch, we use this synthetic tissue. We impregnate it with a small amount of solvent and then we apply this to the varnish. The varnish dissolves and it's really pulled into the tissue. But removing the varnish safely isn't something the conservators do alone. They rely on the museum's scientific department. Before the conservators start treating the painting, we have to be sure that whatever we are putting in contact with the painting is safe. So we have done a lot of scientific investigation of this tissue. We have analyzed the composition, but also the chemical and the mechanical properties. And now we know that it is safe to use in contact with the painting. So Rembrandt, he is putting this drama at the first or second line of his composition. No one else would do that. Everyone would understand that the hierarchy within the civic art was crucial. But for Rembrandt, hierarchy didn't count. And what he is doing in the Night Watch is extremely different from all other group portraits we know from the 17th century. The tissue process is actually a quite quick process, but after that, many older varnish remnants remain. So we look at the paint surface with a microscope and we see many uh, residues, and these residues make that the paint has a grayish appearance. So it's very important to remove them, but that takes a lot of time, a lot of concentration. When it takes this much time and focus, you need patience, but your patience is tested. There is more that needs treatment under the microscope. After we remove the varnish, we find many cotton fibers and they are the residues of older restorations. And they are stuck in the cracks of the paint. And to remove them, we go over the surface with a soft brush and then we take them out one by one with the use of tweezers. I think there are thousands of hairs, <laughs> but it's a very relaxing job. I really enjoy it. During Operation Nightwatch, the team works from the edges towards the center. So there will be a moment when the entire painting looks completely flat. Eventually, every part of the canvas will be free of varnish and free of fibers, which are all steps in restoring the Nightwatch to its full glory. <laughs> 